Hi, this is Megan from Off Grid Farming and this is a video about how to pick rhubarb, maintain rhubarb, what to do with rhubarb, and everything about rhubarb. So um, I know that not everyone other than, I live in New England, which is very prevalent here, but um, maybe if you're from the South, it's not as prevalent, but it is a great treat and um, one of my favorite pies. If you've never had a strawberry rhubarb pie, um, I think maybe after this video you should try and make one. <laughs> um, I don't know if they actually sell rhubarb down in the south, like at the supermarkets, but they do sell them around here and you can get them in farmer's markets and stuff if you don't actually own your own plant. Um, you only need a few stalks to make rhubarb pie. It's a very unusual flavor, so you either like it or you don't. These are my parents' rhubarb plants. I wanted to show you what rhubarb seed heads look like when they start emerging. And this is one. They usually actually have kind of like a covering. Oh yeah, you can see it on this. This is the covering. This is the covering, so you can see. And it kind of all looks like that. And this is actually what you would chop off, or you can snap them. But sometimes I take a knife and I chop them. But you can snap them like that. And so you want to snap those off because they actually make your rhubarb more tart. Um, I'll show you some larger heads. Look at this beautiful rhubarb. So I left this one on so you could see it. It is a larger flower coming up. And you also would want to, sorry, you also would want to snap this off. It's okay if it started to go to seed or like to flower. Um, you want to catch it when it was smaller like I showed you, but this is, you still want to take this off at any point. And you should just have a plant that looks like this. Nice and healthy. I have another flower here. And as I said, I'm gonna show you again because it's always good to see. You just snap it, so. I'm going to snap it off right here, and then I'll just throw that on the ground with all the other ones. <laughs> Look at that beautiful, marvelous rhubarb. My parents have so many stalks, it's insane. Here's another example of one that's coming up, and you just want to gently, you just want to snap that off. And here I can see one that's starting to come up. See how is that covering? You can kind of snap them at any, any stage, but you do not want these because they make your rhubarb extra bitter. I can see a few more that I need to snap. Here is rhubarb. Um, you should harvest this when it is 12 inches or longer. So this looks like about 12 inches. I've always been told that the leaf is poisonous, so don't feed it to your pigs or something like that, and definitely don't eat it yourself. I just chop off the leaf and lay it on the ground. You can actually mulch with it, and um, they're huge. So, I mean, it's pretty big. <laughs> the most famous use for rhubarb is probably rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb pie. Um, I've been looking up different recipes that I'm going to try this year. Uh, we have probably a hundred plants in total, but it's because my parents actually make soda. But for fun, last year we made strawberry rhubarb jam. And we also, I think this year we're going to try and make um, rhubarb vanilla jelly. And you can also make rhubarb butter, which sounds really interesting. And there's a lot of Norwegian recipes. So I'm gonna have fun with that this year. So rhubarb likes really rich soil. Uh, my parents have a old manure pile that's completely composted. Um, we have red wigglers in it. They have actually planted rhubarb in manure and it just is massive. As you can tell behind me, it's very healthy. So if you're planting this, make sure that you put some cow, uh, cow manure or lobster compost 
if you're from New England, Coast of Maine, Lobster Compost is a great product. Um, and it's organic, it's OMR certified, so it's organic, um, which you know, I'm big on organic. So the first year you don't want to harvest any of the leaves if you transplanted it or bought it at a nursery or bought a um, rhubarb bulb. Uh, you want to allow it to get all of the nutrition and sunlight that it needs to thrive in the space that you've put it in. Even when you are harvesting the rhubarb, you want to leave probably, you want to leave all the shorter stalks. So you'll see much shorter stalks and then you probably want to leave at least um, a quarter to half of the big stalks so that it's able to still thrive in the place that you've put it. They do not like soggy soil. They actually, they will rot if you put them in a swampy spot. So make sure that it's not swampy where you have it. Rhubarb is almost on every farm in New England. So if you buy an old um, farmhouse or something like that, you probably will have a plant of rhubarb maybe in your lawn or on the edge of the garden or just somewhere random, which is always fun. It's a nice little surprise. So it's very healthy. You can eat it raw. Um, a lot of New Englanders dip it in sugar and eat it. Ooh, it is very sour. <laughs> I love rhubarb though, it tastes so good. I can't even tell you. I must be a true New Englander. Um, if you bite into this, my parents make soda. You can actually make, I think, your own simple syrup too. When I bite into this, it just tastes like my parents' soda. So if you're trying your own rhubarb and you bite into it, ooh, imagine that with um, a little sugar and lemon and it's so good. So I was gonna show you harvesting and what the plant actually looks like. So come with me. So this is a nice, big, healthy plant as you can see. So we're gonna go in here. You can see there are um, big stalks and then there's very little plants, like little, little stalks down in here. See those little guys? And they're very dinky. So you don't want to um, trim any of the really small ones. And as I said, you only want to trim about 50%, 50 to um, a quarter of the actual big rhubarb stalks. So I asked my parents if I could harvest this plant right here. It's pretty large. I mean, it's very um, substantial. This is one of the oldest plants that they have on the property. Normally, if you are just making a rhubarb pie, you will just like grab like four stalks and then be done with it. Um, so this is, you can apply this to harvesting the whole plant or just a one or two stalks. So I'm going to go, you hold down and you pull gently. They should actually just separate off of the plant. And I cut this off. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and harvest all of these. And if you are local to central New Hampshire, my mom is a baker. And you can find our soda also at the Winnesquam Agway in Belmont. My mom bakes for them. So the best strawberry rhubarb pie around is located at Winnesquam and her bakery is called Wildflower Bakery. So I was looking at some of the really large stalks. Um, the recommended time to stop harvesting your rhubarb is actually mid-June. Um, the rhubarb starts getting kind of woody and doesn't taste as good and it's just not as healthy for your plant. So right now it is the end of May. Pick away and pull away until mid-June.
So I was trying to find a good example of what it looks like when you pull them. It should be very gentle. I mean, enough to actually pull it out, but it literally just pulls off like that. I'll do one other one. This one's kind of further in, so it might be harder to see. Sometimes they break. Oh. So they should just pull off. Do one more for an example. So I wanted to show you these little leaves. All these little guys. They're very short and very thin. You don't want to cut any of those. And I left about half of half to a quarter of the big leaves that you want to keep. You don't want to cut all of the leaves. If you are making pie or like just trying to do it for a recipe, just grab the amount that you need. So like maybe like four stalks for a rhubarb pie. Um, you don't have to harvest the whole thing at once. You can kind of just harvest the biggest ones or the longest ones and um, leave the rest for later when you want to make another pie. So um, just thought I would tell you that. This actually fell off of something that I had it on, but um, normally I would harvest it into a bucket. It got a little messy, but that's the amount of rhubarb that came off the plant. Um, one big plant, these are very old. So don't expect to get this much from your new rhubarb plants. And these are all the leaves that came off of that one big plant. So these are little baby plants that my parents have harvested to sell or transplant. But um, see how tiny they are? Like. The plants that we were harvesting were probably like that, like feet taller. So these are super small plants. And this is usually what you see at a nursery. You wouldn't want to harvest this for a few years. I just wanted to give you an example. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if I think of any other tips, I will try and add it. But as I said, don't harvest all of the big leaves. Leave some of them, leave some of the big stalks and don't harvest any of the little stalks because that actually does not help with um, your plant. They love rich soil, they're very heavy feeders um, and happy harvesting and eating of uh, strawberry rhubarb pie. Thank you for watching Off Grid Farming. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you next time.